Hey everyone, welcome back. This video is going to be a bit different, but before we jump in, I just want to say thank you all for all the views on my last videos. Honestly, I didn't expect that much support, especially since those were my very first uploads, and let's be real, it's uh, beginner level stuff. But today we stepping up and we are building our own Android TV box, and just as a spoiler alert, we actually made it work, and it's awesome! Alright, so here it is, our future Android TV box. It might not look like much at first, but trust me, this thing is snappy, happy and ready to binge, whatever you throw at it. You can download, install, stream, scroll, basically do anything you want, because you're the boss here. No ads popping up every two minutes, no weird restrictions, just a clean, fast, customizable Android TV experience. Honestly, this little box could replace your Fire Stick, your badge, budget Android box, and maybe even your smart TV built-in system. Plus, it doesn't randomly crash when you open YouTube, so there's that. And as a bonus, you can even add your Jellyfin server to this setup, just like I showed you how to build in in my earlier videos. Total media control right from the couch. Now, obviously we had to do a little DOI magic to make it look as cool as it runs. A bit of spray paint never hurt anyone, right? Just a few sprays here and there and boom! Uh, I mean, uh, as you can clearly see, I'm basically Michelangelo. He might not be museum worthy, but hey, it adds character, I would say. And here we are after the paint job. I mean, look at this thing. This sexy eyes white. White and black, not black and white. Let's get that straight. Crazy looking Lenovo M90Q. It's gorgeous. Uh, way better than before, at least in my opinion. Now, don't ask me why Goku has a Minecraft store next to him. Uh, my kid wanted one, so I 3D printed it and figured, hey, why not throw it in the video? And now I'll let Goku tell you what's under the hood. I'm gonna do it, uh, let's get serious. This is a Lenovo M90Q Tiny, it's rocking an Intel Core i5 7500T at 2.7 GHz, paired with 16 gigs of RAM. For storage, I'll be installing Android TV on a SATA 3 SSD, because why not give this beast some extra speed? Now, feels like a good time to share one of my little dreams, I always wanted to build a PC where I can just kick back, watch my favorite shows and movies, and when I get bored, just jump straight into any game I want, like one box to rule them all. But hey, that's just me, maybe I don't have a life, but if you're still here, well, that's probably another video for another time. Alright, moving on, there are a few different ways to achieve this whole Android TV experience. One of them is, uh, actually, you know what? Let me just show you. It's way easier than trying to explain it. Open a fresh incognito tab just to keep things clean. Head over to bluestacks.com, click on see all versions and scroll until you find Android 11 64 bit. Download that one. And once it's saved, run the installer as administrator. Trust me, it avoids all the annoying little issues later. I'm gonna speed up this as it takes a few minutes. Wow. And here we are in Bluestacks, and yeah, it's already full of ads, and I can already tell you it's kinda horrible. But hey, it's an option, right? Uh, so first we're gonna log into Play Store, you'll need a Google account for that. Then we'll install Aptoe TV from a very trustworthy website that also happens to have a crazy amount of ads. Don't worry, everything is totally fine, I think. Once that's done, make sure to give all the necessary permissions to Aptoe TV so we can actually install your apps. Now let's grab our first app as well, YouTube of course, and to make things a little bit more polished we are installing Projectivity Launcher and setting it as our default home app. Now this is gonna look a bit more like a real Android TV now, uh, doesn't it? Now, for the best part, time to set up our media center. We're going to head over to the Aptoid TV, as that's easier, and install the Jellyfin app. Once it's installed, go ahead and launch it, and we'll connect to our Jellyfin server. 
just enter your server URL. Uh, if you followed my previous videos, you already know where to find it. Then log in with your user account and let it sync up. You might want to go into the settings menu and tweak a few things, even switching up the team if you're feeling fancy. And there it is, just like that. You got a fully working, sleek media setup running inside an Android TV experience. Looks way better now, right? So let's talk about the Android TV experience on Bluestacks. First of all, yes, it works. Technically, uh, you open it up and you're instantly greeted with an interface that screams Welcome to Android with ads and lag. But hey, it's uh, doing its best. You log in into the Play Store thinking, OK, cool, smooth sailing from here. No, nope. it feels like trying to run a smart fridge interface on a toaster. Then we go ahead and install Aptui TV from a website that has more pop-ups than your grandma email inbox but somehow we powered through. Give all the permissions, install YouTube because obviously that's the first test. You open it up and it works, like barely, but it works. Audio, video, all there, just don't touch anything or it might crash. Then we install Projectivity Launcher because the default home screen made me question my life choices. With Projectivity, things looks cleaner, snappier, it actually starts to feel like Android TV. You almost forget you're using an emulator until it randomly hiccups again. And then the real crown jewel, Jellyfin, install, logged in and connected to my server and hey, now we're cooking. It's like throwing leather seats in a 20-year-old car. It's comfy, sure, but you still hear the engine coughing. And now let's get a little philosophical here. You know that look your dad gives you when you've done something bad. That quiet, soul-piercing, I'm not angry, just disappointed kind of stare. Yeah, um, that's not us. Because this, this chaotic ad filled weirdly functional emulator power monster is still a legit option. It might not be perfect, but it's free, it's DIY, and it gets the job done eventually. So yeah, blue stacks on Android TV. Uh, it's like making toast with a hairdryer. Strange, but it kind of works if you're desperate and creative enough. And by the way, you can get one of these Lenovo M910Q boxes just about anywhere. Uh, eBay, Facebook, Marketplace, uh, your mom, I don't know, you, you, you'll figure it out. They're usually pretty cheap and perfect for builds like this. But hey, that's option one done. And since this video is already getting a bit long, I do need to feed the kittens. Priorities, right? But don't worry, in part two, I'll show you how to get the real Android TV experience. Just like the one I teased at the beginning. No emulators, no weird work workarounds, just pure, clean Android TV goodness. Hope you enjoyed this weird little ride. And until next time. Thanks for watching.